And now switching gears, and we head to our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Jaime Munguia, still only 25, can you believe that? 37-0 with 30 knockouts, taking on the veteran. Don't let that average record fool you. This man is a huge threat to Munguia tonight. He is in his prime, it seems. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and only the referee can stop the fight. Does Jaime Munguia continue his rapid ascension and pick up one of the biggest wins of his young 25-year-old career, or does the 35-year-old war horse stop the Munguia hype train and reach the elite division, the elite top of this division, and perhaps become a world champion in his own right. Will it be the fight of the year? We hope so. Here we go. 12 rounds. Anaheim, California. Mugia and Lozano. And as you mentioned earlier, Chris, Jaime Mugia's best defense is offense. How will he handle someone like Rosado, who's so crafty, who can score punches? If Rosado starts backing up Munguia, you can tell that's going to be success there. But Munguia doesn't fight as good on the back foot like he does on the front foot. Munguia currently on a four-fight knockout streak. Only three of his last 14 fights have gone the distance. Yeah, and he's ended fights in different ways. Against Toriano Johnson, that fight was stopped after he pulled uppercuts that literally split the lip of Johnson. Munguia having a lot of success, success stabbing Rosado in the midsection, bringing them elbows down. Round two scheduled for 12. Munguia telling us if Rosado stands in the middle of the ring and trades with me, it'll be a short night. Good upper body movement by Jaime Munguia, which is what he lacked defensively, but I'm, I really like the way he's keeping his elbows in and the upper body perpetually moving, sticking behind that jab. That looked like a clash of heads, and Munguia got the worst of it. He's trying to blink the left eye. Yeah, it was Freddie Roach who was saying, I'm not impressed with Munguia's body at all as he unleashes a flurry there. And Munguia concentrating on speed. I love seeing that. I've seen a little bit of that with Spiker Sullivan. I want to see a lot more of that. Munguia doing the right thing, not letting, not letting Rosado control the tempo of the fight. The first half of that, that second round, Rosado was doing well with that jab. Munguia coming out the combination, putting the pressure. Don't let the older fighter fight at his pace. Couple good one-twos there from Rosado. And Rosado's doing the right thing by not, not letting Munguia break the distance and keeping him at the end of the jab. Rosado better start dipping to his left. He's, he's, he's dipping to his right. You saw Rosado's face right there. That was a very similar movement that Munguia made that, that the bully did in the last fight where he dipped in and Rosado just missed with that counter shot. Didn't load up, just, let, just unleashed that at the right time. And those are the little differences that I've been seeing in Munguia. The left hook, not forgetting the body. Good. Rosado planting his feet, not backing up as easily anymore. He's staying on the inside. I think he wants to get some respect out of this round. 
Both men utilizing their jabs. But notice how Rosado's not backing up anymore. He's standing flat-footed. Trying to get some leverage into a, an overhand punch. And there it is right there. Left hook around the guard of Munguia.
facial expressions of Mungia when he's hurt and when he's not. I think that right hand finally hurt Mungia. Stop. Nobody punch. Good action here from Mungia. Comes to life. Eats a jab. Yeah, where Rosado lacks some power, stop. he makes Everybody that looking stop. tiny. Timing can hurt you, man. Good combination right from Mungia. One in the head, back to the head. Rosado trying to win this round. Big punches on the inside. And what is Jack Reese doing? Okay. Yeah. What is Jack Reese doing? Oh, Shut the bullshit off! No, I don't think Red, that listen, stop! Freddy, he's bordering with all this bullshit. Get it, points. coming from every angle and anytime you have a fighter just blocking like Rosado's doing it's just easy combination easy work for the younger former champion in Hyman Mugir. They get it all for 11 rounds. Three minutes left. Chris how do you have it? I've got Hyman Mugir up significantly. 108 to 101. He has just been in control Throwing far more punches. As you know, that last round, top landing stop, stop, more stop, punches stop. on Gabe Rosado than any opponent in his career. So Gabe is going to need a knockout to win this fight. Well, Jaime Munguia is not only throwing a lot of punches, but he's landing at a high percentage. And usually, for a fighter like Rosado to try to catch him in between the shots, he, he needs Munguia to slow down. Munguia is not slowing down, not giving him that opportunity. Munguia wants a knockout. Chris, there's always been questions about Mungia. Had they just match made him right up through the rankings? Is he really as good as people think he is? What say you after this? Well, there are always going to be questions about Mungia given how often he gets hit. But this is the most experienced opponent that he has faced in his career. Gabe Rosado has fought the world-class level. And Jaime Mungia is giving him a pretty good beating. They wanted a war. They gave us a war here in Anaheim. What a fight! Jaime Mugia and Gabe Rosado. This is the rivalry we're expect we expected to see between a Puerto Rican fighter and a Mexican fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of championship boxing, here at the Honda Center. This, without a doubt, is fight of the year. A big round of applause for both of our warriors. Here in the ring, representing Mexico and Puerto Rico. 
And now we go to the judges scorecard. Here are the totals. Judge Raul Cai Senior has the bout 118, 110. Judge Zachary Young has the bout 119, 109. And Judge Max DeLuca scores the bout 117, 111. And still the reigning WBO Intercontinental Middleweight Champion, El Orgullo de Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, El Invicto, Jaime Moon.